filter is not dark enough, all you've got to do, you don't even have to land the drone. Just bring it down a little close, twiddle this over here, and you can darken or lighten the image just by a turn of the glass. So that's why variable ND is perfect. I'm not sure what filter is good for now. The sun is coming in right over here. I'm sure you can see it. Two is lighter and five is darker. Let's get this jack strap off. I've gotten quite used to this. So you gotta hold the camera still, twist the glass, bada bing bada boom, comes right off. Clean the inner glass of both. You can see that the, the undercover fits just like the original. Wow. Now this one's a little different because this glass extends beyond the camera, which is kind of crazy that it extends beyond. But guess what? You need coverage for everything that's on there. So the glass has to be wide. Um, it's very light though. It feels very light. So here we've got two, three, four, five. I'm going to go with mm, somewhere between two and three. All right, let's get this bad boy up in the air and see how she looks with ND filters. Good, we're up, up and away. We are at F5, ISO 400, 4K60. Let's drop the ISO a little bit. Probably go to ISO 100. I know people like to fly at ISO 100. I don't, but yeah. So we're at minus seven. We're just gonna drop the aperture a little bit till we get minus three and zero. I'm gonna go at minus three. I can always brighten up my image. I know I have the details in there. But yeah, here we go. Oh man, looks good. Looks good. This filter is looking good. Yeah, it's kind of nice. And I, you gotta love these Hasselblad colors, man. These Hasselblad colors. What I like about this filter, it doesn't seem to mess. Maximum flight altitude reached. I know, I know. It doesn't seem to mess with the with the colors, so that's nice. I don't see any vignetting in the corners. Everything looks nice. Looks clean. Looks crisp. <clears throat> looks good. There we go. I don't want to go too far because this one here is limited in terms of the altitude in which it can fly. Beautiful. Nice. I tell you, boy, nothing flies like a Mavic. Nothing flies like a Mavic. So why did I slap on this filter, right? I slapped on the filter so I can keep my shutter at double my frame rate. You should know that now. I've made a bunch of videos about it but my frame rate is, is 5.1K30. Oh my gosh, this looks gorgeous, this bridge. And the 5.1K30, you, you wanna be double your frame rate. So 32s are 60, so you see my shutter is at 60, 1 60th, so that's double my, my frame rate. And as a result, normally your image would just look like blown out, but because I have the filter on and of course I have my aperture up because the higher you go in the aperture generally the sharper it gets until you go too high but at this aperture yeah I've got a nice nice crisp clean image maximum flight altitude reach. it's nice that the filter covers the whole spectrum which is nice one glass that just covers the whole spectrum who knows what the camera is using in terms of settings but it is what it is so yeah, if you're, if you're into using this telephoto lens, it's good to know that these filters from PGY Tech, even though they're variable, they cover the whole spectrum. And I don't see any um, discoloration or any kind of um, loss in image quality in the corners. It looks just fine. So we're gonna put up the Freewell filters next, which is not uh, variable. Here we go, put that aside. Now this one has polarization, which could affect the color a little bit, depending on the polarization. I hate, made a whole video here about polarization, so you could go check it out with another drone, but you know, these drones are all the same in terms of how they operate in the cameras. So you've seen one, pretty much you'll know how to apply it to this one. So basically you just gotta make sure we follow the shape at the bottom here, where the camera, where the camera has like a flat edge over here. You can see the filter has like a flat edge over here. All right, put it in and twist it lock, lock and close. There you go. Of course. Now with the polarization, you can turn the drone on and tweak it, but I'm just gonna set it standard at 
the mark where it comes. Let's kind of zero it out. Let's try these out and see if it looks any different. You tell me the light hasn't changed that much. Now you see the difference here is that uh, apart from the polarization, there looks like a little color shift over here. There may be a little color shift going on. What do you think? But the ends look clean, right, of the image. I don't see any kind of problems with these filters. Everything looks clean. Everything looks good, right? So I think any one of these two brands you go with, it's just personal preference. Um, they both make solid filters, and it's good that the options are out there, and it's it's much cheaper than just buying the Fly More kit and just throwing all all your money at DJI. Nothing wrong with that if you if you're a fan of DJI and you want to support their business, but you know if you're like me and you're watching every dollar, especially when this drone starts at twenty two hundred bucks, and you want to save as much money as you can and still have your hands on a Mavic Three, then then yeah. So yeah, I think I see a little shift in the color. That could just be me. I'll put the two images up so you can see. I'm not flying the exact same path, but I'll try. And there you go. Nice. Now for the hobbyist, this is probably the ultimate hobbyist drone. The creme de la creme of, ho of hobbyist drones. Right, in terms of what you get from DJI. Here you go. All right, let's stop. Let's bring them back. Big filters for a big guy right here. I don't think you can go wrong with either brand or either one of these filters. Huge thumbs up. Great way to save money. Let's see if the jock strap will fit with the, yeah. The jock strap fits, goes right up with the jock strap. No problem. Chances of you taking off with a filter um, when you don't need one is definitely less when using these because of the color and how they shape and just how they stand out so thought i'd mention that all right there'll be links in the description section below uh, with that being said make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when i release new mavic 3 videos and with that being said i will catch you guys whenever i can make sure you become a patreon guys Big benefits to Patreon. Get direct access to me. Any questions, I'm right here on Patreon. Support this channel and there's benefits. Last mini two went all the way to the UK.